Hello there. I'm the unrelatable cuber. Nice to meet you. I cube once every two years, and I really love corn twists when my cube locks up, when my cube pops, and I try to make my cube as loose as possible so whenever I turn it, it just completely falls apart. I purposely take a knife and try to cut my um, stickers up as much as possible to make them look really bad and chipped. I always soak my hands in very cold water so that my hands are nice and cold before I get cubing. And instead of using glue, I use some hot glue or liquid glue to make my cube as fast and as slow as possible. I pour sand into my cube, grind it up, and make it as terrible as possible. And I use Vaseline sometimes only for my face whenever I have dry skin. My goal is to go from one minute to two minutes for three by three solves, five hours to 10 hours for five by five solves, and four by four solves, I go from two seconds to one million hours. I hate cubes that are like $50 each. It's way too expensive. Personally, I prefer cubes that are like, I don't know, 120, 140, 150. Those are the best price ones. I never try to become color neutral because I just figure that if you do color neutral then you're just going to get more and more confused so it's going to be really bad. So color neutrality is really really bad and I would never ever do it. I hate going to competitions even though I average sub 10 because it just it's just so bad. Going to competitions is the worst experience ever. I love when non cubers say things that don't make any sense like I just peel the stickers off, or you just reverse the scrambles. I love the non-cubers asking these annoying dumb questions. I don't like listening to music while I solve because that just makes my solve even worse. I hate the idea of magnets and cubes. Like that just ruins the whole solve. It makes your cube slower. It's like all messed up when you try to turn it. It's the worst thing ever. My favorite thing to do on pyramids is the tips. The tips are the best part to solve. I always solve each side at a time rather than layer at a time because so sides at a time is just quicker because there's only six parts. Layers, however, there's three layers so that just takes so much time. I spell Rubik's Cube R-U-B-I-X. I can't tell the difference between a 5x5 and a 10x10. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. That was really, really bad, wasn't it guys? Anyways, I really appreciate you guys watching this. If you like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. If you want to know other cubers who might like this, please share this with them. And also, please subscribe to this channel for more and more content. Also, guys, can you check out my other channel that I recently started? Well, not really recently. It was like two months ago. It's called Zarcastic Talks. That's Z-A-R-C-A-S-T-I-C-T-A-L-K-S. -A -A All lowercase, no spaces. Right now, it's temporarily called Z Talks. Um, no capitals, no spaces, but it's going to be changed soon. Anyways, just sh search that up and ZTalks should come up anyways. Or you can just go to the channel section of our channel and it will be there anyways, along with a bunch of really good channels. Also check out DM Cubing, please, guys. He's a really great channel and he does a lot of really good stuff on that. It's another cubing channel. He magnetizes cubes by himself and they turn out amazing. He actually gave us one and it's a really good cube. You really gotta check them out. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Hope I see you in the next one.